Alrighty, people, welcome back to another episode of Master Detective Archives Rain Code. I got it finally. Clap it up. Clap it up, people. Clap it up. I didn't mess it up this time. All right, anyway, back to the murder mystery. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please mind your belongings. Master, we are almost at the station! You have to catch the culprit! Catch who? Everyone besides me is dead! Are you sure it's everyone? Calm down and count again. Silch in car one. Melanie in car two. Poochie in car three. Zange in car four. And Aphex in car five. See? That's five. Everyone besides me is dead. That makes you the only possible killer, Master. Did you do it? No! That's not possible! But I can't say for certain. I lost my memories, and now I'm seeing a death god. There's something wrong with me. Hey, bruh. Death gods are said to reap human souls. Maybe because I'm being haunted by one. Maybe subconsciously, I... Nah, bro. We are approaching Kanai Ward. Please watch your step while exiting the train. Finished. <laughs> Mies. <laughs> oh, no. Time to enter the Mario Party minigame. All right, so this is where it's going to open for the first time. What's it going to be, huh? What are you going to do? I, I don't know. Somebody can leave. What? This looks bad. Step out of it. Run. Run? But... Oh. Bruh. I don't know, bro. We should just comply. Master, those guys from before are still on the platform. Run to the front train car. Why is this happening to me? Yeah, we might actually see the actual culprit leave or something. Bro. They're gonna make me do some... They're not gonna make me do a QTE. Oh, they got QTEs. You might find yourself at a pinch during the course of detective work. All the on-screen instructions to get out of those tricky situations. Doesn't make mistakes. Oh. There's a time limit for input, so be careful. Oh, shit. I'm on the hardest difficulty, so I might get fucked here. All right, we out. Ooh, let's keep going. I'm not going to jail. Not for a murder I didn't commit. Or murders. Who are these people? The police? <laughs> Who are these people? The police? Uh, sure, it does look like that. They're not your friends. That much is for sure. Considering the state of the crime scene, they're totally gonna pin it on you. But let's get out of here. I'm not even black. Why are they chasing me? Oh. Mm. Ooh, uh, y'all like that? Yeah. You like that? Uh oh. Yeah, kid. Yeah, ain't no button presses for. <laughs> Bro, I didn't know if they wanted the left stick or the right stick or the D pad. I hit the D pad. Oh, whoa. Duck. Ooh. This man tried to catch me. What the? I saw that bad move. On the run, on the run, on the run. We made it. Success. I ain't never seen someone successfully attack a command grab. <laughs> Unless it's blaze blue, so never mind. It was a purple grab. Oh no. Oh, they got batons. Can I fight them? I'm out of here, bro. I'm about to do a super jump. Check this out. 
you're done for. Super jump in the short hop. Wait, what? Wait, please listen to me. I can explain. Huh. What's that to talk about? Who the hell? Master detective of the WDO, aren't ya? The name's Swank Katsunel. I'm with the Amaterasu Corporation's Peacekeepers. Somebody fake their death. I think somebody money. Dude, does that say money on his teeth? Wow. Bruh, this dude too big to be running from. Amaterasu Corporation peacekeepers? Don't act like you don't know. You're a WDO detective for crying out loud. Swink Casanel. Or are you some sort of imposter? Man's got a whole barcode on the right side of his head. No, I'm not. I think. You think? Well, I don't care either way. What's about to happen has already been decided. Something tells me this dude was getting fed information or something. Which is? This was planned, bro. This was a planned hit. The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai War. If the unjust wander into my space, they will be eliminated. Eliminated? This is the type of dude that he look like he bought NFTs, bro. Hey, is it Kanai Ward under the complete control of Amaterasu? Grab bought some NFTs, and then he had to put a plan together to get his money back by killing off specific detectives. That's what happened. Meaning these people are like the police here. Police? But it's just some company security department. Hey, who are you talking to? All right. You're the only one who can see me, thanks to our contract, Master. It's a bit cliche at this point, huh? <laughs> Don't laugh, help me! I'll ask again. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? Talk about... I'm sorry! Tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. We prepared that trip to welcome you all here. But an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. Oh, y'all prepared the train. All right, interesting. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind this. You're the culprit. Huh? Well, that was direct. Master, try your best to beat him. No, I really don't know anything. Everyone was killed while I was asleep. I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, you killed them. His proof is the coffee and wine. What the fuck? What the? We found coffee and wine in the dining car. When we checked the second car earlier, I had a subordinate drink it. You can see what happened. Looks like some sort of knockout drug was mixed into it. Drug? Uh. Which means you drugged the other detectives and killed them while they were passed out. Wow. He may just be a lowly grunt, but he knows his stuff. He could be trouble. Why do you sound so impressed? So did you figure out the cause of death? Yes. They all burned to death. Huh? All of them? How cruel! All of them? Kill him like that. Man, he just said all of them burned to death? That's crazy. They they didn't even like look at the knife wounds. What's your end game in this? Is it money? Or is it money? I wonder if I wonder if some of them didn't get caught on fire, but then got caught by the knife and then got burnt. If it's money, then hand over everything you swipe. I promise I'll show mercy. To your wallet. He just wants money. This dude said to your wallet. I'm not the culprit. Yes, you are. You're the culprit. Bro, where's the evidence, bro? No, I. I'm not the perpetrator. But do I know that for sure? In this situation, who else besides me could have done it? 
There were without a doubt only six people on the train, and five of them were killed. So the only possibility is... Just admit it! I know you're the culprit! What am I supposed to do? Admit it now! You're guilty! Am I... the killer? Come on, confess! Come on, bro. <laughs> Poco head versus Moni. Maybe it's better if I confess for now. No, bro, they finna get you on recording saying that. It could be better to get through this now and get some time to think about it. I mean, getting gasoline into it. Why confess if you didn't do it? Master, you're an idiot! Don't boom kill you! Boom kill you. Huh? You heard me? I didn't say it out loud. Huh? There you go again, talking to yourself. Must be crazy or something. I hear your thoughts too. I told you we share the same mind and body. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? Huh? What do you mean? How am I supposed to know this? Talking to yourself, you unstable psycho! Bring him down, men! Confiscate anything of value he has while you're at it. Damn. Bro, you still talking? Oh, don't sound so pitiful! I'll show you what I'm made of right now! Bro, why is this so out of desync? This? What's happening? Bruh. I don't know what to think right now, bro. I we got all this mystery stuff going on, and then we got some supernatural shit. We got this girl turning into some got this ghost turns into a a, a whole What's this? Anime wife What's going on? Ah, who are you? What do you mean? I've been with you the entire time. Wait, you're Shinigami? Oh, right. Guess you can't tell because I'm not puffy anymore. I can only access the mystery labyrinth if I'm at full power, so I had to change forms. But some parts of me are still nice and puffy. It's true. Wanna touch? Bruh. I, I'm okay. Anyway, what's going on? It's like time has stopped. And what's that hole? That hole is connected to the mystery labyrinth. Mystery labyrinth? Mystery labyrinth? You'll find out when you enter. Come on, let's go! Wait, you have to tell me. What's a mystery labyrinth? Now I'm completely lost, and now I don't know what to do. They said, you know, all that tension I was building, guess what? It's gone now. <laughs> well, you still won't have to work for your answers, but uh, take some time to think about it down in the mystery labyrinth.
Hey, Pope. Where'd that Pope come from? Huh? Where am I? I hope this isn't mementos. What do you think of my awesome powers? This is what you obtained in exchange for your memories, Master. So he obtained access to some place where he can gather his thoughts. You did this, Shinigami? Is this why I made a pact with you? I don't understand any of this. Where are we? Hmm. Simply put, it's an alternate universe. It's got that kind of vibe, right? An alternate universe? You don't sound surprised. Come on, it's awesome! You probably think it's cliched, huh? Well, this isn't any old alternate universe. Check this out! Ta-da! This is the Mystery Labyrinth. It's a maze that materializes mysteries from the real world. Materializes mysteries? Unsolved mysteries become lost to time, right? Well, here, they actually take shape as a mystery labyrinth. Now, this maze is the materialized form of the unsolved murders that took place on the Amaterasu Express. This maze is the mystery? I have the power to interact with this mystery labyrinth. Oh, nice. That's why we were able to come here in the first place. Anyway. Master, we're gonna beat the Amaterasu Express Massacre Mystery Labyrinth. What happens when we beat it? In every case, there's a hidden truth. And we have to find the truth deep inside this mystery labyrinth. Deep inside. So, if we beat this mystery labyrinth, the truth of that case will be revealed. Naturally, so will the true identity of the killer. Now, let's solve this thing. We'll <laughs> identity too? You couldn't solve it in reality, so we're solving it in this alternate universe. Hmm. They're two sides of the same coin. But whether or not you discover the truth depends on the person entering the labyrinth. The more complex the mystery is in the real world, the more complex the maze will be too. Damn. Complexities, huh? Killers in real world cases throw whatever obstacles they can at investigators, right? Those are also materialized into the maze, so this is gonna be a tough battle. I guess some of the motives some of these killers have are complex, right guys? So you're saying I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so there? sorry. I will get every chance I get, I will reference that. Yep, looks like you're finally getting it. Now that I've explained it all, let's head into the dungeon. Oh, hold on, I, I don't understand any of this. Seriously, you don't get it? Uh, a mystery labyrinth is a maze based on a real mystery. This one is formed from a murder on the Amaterasu Express. Bruh, you traded all his memories for this? But wouldn't you need to be able to remember that you did this? <laughs> yep, you're right so far. Hey, huh? So if there's always a hidden truth inside a mystery labyrinth, if we keep going... The Amaterasu Express case will be solved? Yup, you totally get it! What? I don't get anything! This makes no logical sense! Sheesh! This is why you're a benchwarmer detective. Damn! In an alternate universe and hung up on details! Of course I am! Say, he was a benchwarmer. Okay, uh, I'll explain more about how it works as we explore the mystery labyrinth. If you have any more questions along the way, stare at my boobs for eight seconds. I beg your pardon? This is how you unlock one of the craziest secrets in the game. You gotta pause the game, hit B, wait eight seconds. Hit B again. Here's start. Here we go. That'll make all your worries disappear. Didn't work for me, I'm sorry. No, it won't! 
please, explain everything now. Relax, relax. I'll tell you in due time. Come on, let's go. Time to unriddle this mystery labyrinth. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention the important keys. Let's see. What? Keys? You mean for opening doors in the dungeon? Yeah, something like that, but keys in the mystery labyrinth are used to break through mysteries. They're called solution keys, and they're essential to clear the mystery labyrinth. So, where do I find them? Solution keys are materialized clues for a case. Normally, you'd get them during the investigation. You kinda had to rush through the investigation this time around, so let's briefly review the case. For starters, try to recall all that happened on board the Amaterasu Express. All right, I think we can do that. The Amaterasu Express? The Amaterasu Express is the only method of transportation in Kanai Ward. It's an automated, unmanned train with five cars. Its doors won't open while in motion, and windows are fixed in place. There were no stops before our destination, so the train kept moving until it arrived at the station. A monitor in the backup control room displays the operation log, and there was no record of the train stopping. <gasps> yeah! Bruh. Here's your solution key. You threw it up. A map of the train. The route map. According to the log, the train did not stop once after departure, but did it like slow down and then go in reverse? So this is a solution key, but why did it come out of your mouth? Let's be glad it came out of her mouth and nowhere else. Mm, what do you mean? So I don't have to use my hands. I worked really hard developing this method. But that seems like more work. You put thought into this? So that's how words and events you think are clues get transformed into solution keys. Wait a minute. Uh, you know what? We're just gonna leave it like that. There's a joke there, but let's keep reviewing what happened in this I'm, case. I'm too old for this. All right, I'll do my best. I'm too old for these these games. Uh. The incident occurred inside the Amaterasu Express while it was still moving. Including myself, there were six master detectives on board. Aphex and Poochie's abilities confirmed there were no other passengers on the train. Testimonies of two detectives. And who died first again? It was Zilch in the first car's infirmary. Well, how do we know if it was Zilch? I noticed smoke pouring through the crack of the door, and looking through the window, I saw a knife stuck in Zilch's chest. Knife and corpse. The infirmary was on fire, so smoke quickly filled the whole area. I hurried to open the door, but it wouldn't budge because it was locked. Does that mean this was a locked room mystery? Not really. There's a chance the killer had a duplicate key. Hmm, that's no fun. Anyway, I broke the door's window and unlocked the door from the inside to enter the infirmary. By then... Zilch's corpse had burnt to a crisp. Damn. Sorry, Zilch. I wanted to alert the others, so I moved to the second car. But I found Melamy's corpse there. I think she was set on fire with the liquor in the dining car. Ooh, a flambe! A human flambe! It's burnt to a crisp, but the face is still barely recognizable. That reminds me, something was off about car two. Right before the train entered the tunnel, there was a strange shaking. Car two. Sounds like maybe what happened was... 
R2, maybe the train detached itself and the other fucking train was still going. Or the other parts of the train was still going and then looped around and connected the other two. Maybe. I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe something got detached or reattached at the time. Isn't that from entering the tunnel? It's like air pressure. Uh, wind stop. And there was a blackout right after. Although it only lasted a moment. Yeah. What was up with that blackout? Was there one on the other side of the tunnel too? I feel like that happens when you reconnect a, a, a car. No. When we exited the tunnel, there was shaking again, but no blackout. Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe I'm, maybe I'm tripping. There was something else too. Something that happens when we were in the fourth car. Hmm. I wonder if that's a clue. Blackout and shaking. There was a blackout and a shaking when the train car entered the tunnel. So maybe there was a when they went through the tunnel, right before they went into it, one of them, one of the the, the car is detached at the beginning, and then another one at the end of the tunnel. I don't know. So I guess the the, the train car we fell asleep on was one, right? So I would just say that one got detached and two got detached, right? Or was it one? So I, I got to say, like, the rooms were definitely rearranged. And the next corpse was the little girl in the third car. Yep. Yeah, it was Poochie, another burnt body, just like the first two cars. Wasn't there a secret base thing in the third car? You mean the backup control system? I remember something about that. The control system automatically manages the electricity within the train. When the main control system fails, it will switch to the backup system yeah. after one second. Yeah, so that means somebody detached the car. Yeah, we know that for a fact now. You may have amnesia, but you've got a pretty good memory. Anything else you can remember? I did notice that the backup control system was actually operating. Yep. And if the backup was on, that means the main system was down, right? What do you think about that? Ah. Well, it didn't fail. Stopped, so that doesn't change the fact that no one could get in or out, right? That's so funny. Yeah, that's true. Next, you found the geezer's corpse in the fourth car, right? He was also covered in burns. Was there anything strange about that corpse? He didn't have any external wounds, but he was holding the cell phone he uses for his photography ability. Oh yeah, that useless ability. It's basically no better than a dash cam. Anyway, forget about the geezer for now. Don't want that old man smell haunting my memories. Damn. All right, new key. You saved on the cell phone. Next and last is the fifth car. Come on, try to remember it. The body we found in the fifth car was completely charred. It was impossible to tell who it was. True. But the necklace around the corpse's neck confirmed it was Aphex. We also discovered a stab wound to the chest. Interesting. Wait, I wonder if the their first i wonder if you were able to swap the same body out maybe the because there was only other one other person that got st uh, stabbed right so i'm thinking that was zilch's body again but just with the necklace on it because when we re-looped or basically when we looped or whatever or when we had that power outage for a split second yeah also, judging by things like the plate on the wall, 
the fifth car appeared to be far more burnt than the other cars. Yeah, and the name plating being burnt or the, the number plating being burnt means they had to do that on purpose to, to misdirect somebody from figuring out, hey, we kind of fucked this up. Maybe the room ended up like that because the victim was on fire and running around trying to put it out. Distorted play. Hey, this is kind of cool. I like this case. Oh, and the blood on the interior lock of the fifth car's infirmary is an important clue, I think. Blood stains on the interior lock. Uh-huh. So, I guess that does it for our review of the case? Wait, there was something else. After the train arrived at the station, according to the Peacekeeper's report, they all burned, they burned to, death. to death. Yeah, they fucked up. Somebody had a stab wound. But that part seems off to me. They all burned to death. So that person in that mask is probably the dude. And they also mentioned the there was a knockout drug mixed into the drinks in the dining car. Yeah, I think that's everything of note. What a big catch! This should be enough solution keys to solve it. But I still don't know how to use them. Master, you worry too much. I'm sure it'll turn out fine. I hope it turns out solution fine. Solution keys are important to solving mysteries. You can acquire an update one. Too. Well, you can update one. By investigating the case and moving the story along. You got all that down. Try checking one of checking one out. Checking one out if a mystery leopard becomes too difficult to solve. There's bound to be some useful information. Shinigami's tutorial corner. Yo, labyrinth skills are abilities that can help you clear mystery labyrinths. Acquire them by spending skill points, which you can get by when your detective rank increases. What the hey, fuck? Stamina, reasoning deathmatch, lower uh, assist recovery time, lower number of solution keys. What the fuck? You check and acquire. Like whichever skills suit you best. Bruh. Time to head off in search of the truth. Let's solve this thing. We got RPG elements. Will things really turn out fine? Only one way to find out. Gotta do it. Uh, 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 skull face ass. So, this is the mystery labyrinth. It sure looks creepy. Hey, if we keep going, will we really get to the truth? Come on, would I lie to you? I told you the deepest part of the labyrinth holds the truth, right? So, let's go. I'm so horny for mysteries right now. Huh? You're... what? Okay, lady. There are places in the mystery labyrinth where the path just goes on and on. You can't move on until the thing plays out, so keep following the path until it does. All right, let's go ahead and make a save, shall we? With the keen eye for details, what truth will uh, prevail? Hey, what the? Why is she on there now? She got double horns. All right, let's look at her abilities. Come on, pay attention. You can set whichever skills suit you best. Reasoning death match. Uh, this skill yeah all right increase your stamina by 150 remove one solution key shinigami will bar what and re death and reasoning death magic with shorten the accessibility recovery time i'm gonna just get this one because that seems like that'll help me out i like shortened recovery times 
So combined with Stand By Me, if equipped alone, it has the same effect about Stand By Me 1. All right. In reasoning deathmatch sequence, reduce the number of color words in the mystery phantom statements, making it easier to identify what to repel. Bro, I'm about to fuck up, bro. If y'all know me, bro, I'm about to fuck up. Okay. So those are the skills I should have equipped. Alright, cool. Look at that. My stamina. Wait, I have to heal my stamina, bro? Alright, let's get it. Let's save our game. And on the next part, I guess we'll go ahead and finally go into the mystery labyrinth and see what the fuck is going on.